Mr. President, thank you for agreeing to come onto the show. I know from your previous implications that you have been going through a grieving and unfortunately rough series of events. But think of today as a day to blow off some steam, to shine in the spotlight. Whenever times get rough for me, I can always rely on showbiz to take my mind off it. I think it's us who should be thanking you, Pat. I mean, coming out of retirement just to come host for us, it's an honor. Oh, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Four presidents coming on to spin the wheel. I'll gladly step in front of the cameras one more time if it meant having this opportunity. What's it been, Pat? 40 seasons you've hosted? 41, actually. Jesus, what a one-trick pony. Am I right, Steve? Donald, you do realize I'd still be hosting Family Feud right now were it not for you, right? Pat, host to host, peer to peer, I have to warn you. I am honored that you have invited us for this special, but I too was prematurely optimistic when I had these freaks on Family Feud. They're more liable to set your set on fire than they are to rake in the ratings. Oh, I'm counting on it. See, I'm already retired, Stevie. I got nothing to lose. Shit, Mr. Presidents, I mean have at it. Go nuts. What's the worst that can happen? I bring you on and they fire me? Hell, I'm retired already. Damn, he's right. Lucky motherfucker. I have to say, Kim, you were absolutely wild during that Family Feud episode. Listen, just between you and me, if you have a gun, feel free to fire off a round or two if you get frustrated. Are you suggesting we actually shoot a gun on live television? Oh, if harming someone is your concern, I wouldn't worry. We have bulletproof glass lined around the whole studio set to protect the audience. I'm trying to get some fire in my life, so don't hold back, gents. Go nuts. Damn. So this is what retirement does to a brother. You know, Pat, I always wanted to be on this show of yours ever since it first hit the television. However, it was much different back then. This was when Chuck Woolery was the host. Each contestant had a metal contraption around their heads synchronized to an electric buzzer. Guess a phrase or letter incorrectly and you would be zapped to kingdom come. Oh, of course, if you were to guess the entire phrase accurately, you would then be rewarded with a block of cheese. You were then labeled as a cheese dropper and could feed the rat that was assigned to you, which would then begin to run, thus turning the wheel of fortune. I, you know, I, I don't think I remember that being the case. No, I remember quite vividly, Pat. At the beginning of the show, it would start off with Chuck saying, I want to play a game. Joe, are you describing Saw? Oh, perhaps it was from those movie flicks. I get them confused time to time. It's okay, Joe. Knowing what we know now, no one can fault you. All right, boys, we're going live soon. I assume you all know the rules. Like the back of Patricia's peach-shaped bottom, Mr. Seacrest, we have this. Mr. Seacrest? This is going to be great. Good evening, folks. My name is... Hey, uh, can I get some water over here? I've been waiting for a drink for 30 minutes now. And do not bring out Dasani. Uh, like I was saying, we have a very special episode today featuring not only celebrity star Steve Harvey himself, but also four presidents of the United States and the supreme leader of North Korea. Howdy, round-eyed people of America. Let's begin with our first toss-up. The category is, what are you doing? Standing here waiting for the fancy letters to glow. Joey, what the hell? Uh, no. Mr. President, you have to guess the phrase on the board. It doesn't mean what you are literally doing right now. Oh, my apologies. Donald, go ahead. Playing Connect Four. Donald, what the... Uh, incorrect, Mr. President. That saying wouldn't have even fit the number of spaces we have set. Donald, next time let's consult before you brashly throw out an answer. That's ridiculous. I'm certain that was the correct answer. They probably changed the phrase midway through. Go ahead, George and Barack. Great. Now those two vultures are going to steal our puzzles, Steve. Oh, come now, Donnie. You don't know for certain if they'll guess the correct answer. Of course they're going to get the right answer after I loosened the jar for them. And who the hell's fault was that? Um, is it partying with four? Again, the second word doesn't fit. And no, that's not the correct answer. Jesus, Barack, how could you screw that up? Am I right, Steve? Shut up, Donald. You literally made the same mistake as I did. The toss-up was playing Diablo 4. Seriously? You have to be kidding me. Well, no wonder none of us figured that out. Who the hell still plays that? Uh, gentlemen, if we're finished, let's begin our second toss-up. Pat, I'd like to solve... Donald, what the fuck do you think you're doing? Yes, Donald, that is correct. You cannot be serious. Told you I knew it, Steve. Well, I'll be damned. Congratulations, Mr. Trump. You won our first toss-up, awarding you with $1,000. $1,000? What? Is that supposed to cover lunch for two days? I know, right? I mean, we got some cheap bastards running the ropes on this show. Damn, Pat really doesn't care what he says, does he? He's retired. He's practically untouchable. Were I so lucky to go out on my own terms? Third toss-up is on the board, gentlemen, and if you get a bit flustered about not being able to solve it, have at it. 
Throw some furniture. Shoot a firework. Don't hesitate. Uh, Mr. President, please ignore that previous statement and refrain from engaging in illegal and or harmful activity. Buzzkill bastards. Christ, could this toss up be any longer? Want me to slide a hint your way, Donald? Just pass me a Benji and I'll slip over a piece of paper with the phrase on it. Sir, you aren't allowed to assist the contestants. Cocksuckers always listening in. They're like the Gestapo. Uh, Pat, I'd like to solve. What the hell? How are you guys guessing the answers already? Gosh, I think I left the water running at home. You got it, Mr. President. Congratulations on $2,000. Wow, don't spend it all in one place. Well, that explains it. Joe forgets to turn off the faucet every time we go out on an adventure. All right, Kim and Joe, you have control. Feel free to spin the wheel. Oh boy, I hope we land on the black tile. Why the hell would you want that? It's my favorite color. Christ, that thing is still spinning? It's called upper body strength, Donald. All right, $600, not bad. Uh, okay, is there an eye up there? Uh, you have to buy vowels, Mr. President. Uh, okay, how do I do that? I left my credit card at home. Uh, Donnie, can you spot me? Oh, geez, yeah. Hold on, let me grab my wallet. Pat, where do you want me to insert my credit card? It's got the chip on it so you don't have to swipe. Uh, gentlemen, you don't need your credit cards. How the hell are we supposed to buy them then? You expect us to carry that amount of cash with us? No. Well, how the fuck are we supposed to buy a vowel then? You trying to swindle us, you con man? I'll tell you how, Kim. He's gonna have us sign up for various free websites where they have you fill out a bunch of surveys for free products. Wake up in the morning, 36 data brokers will have your street address and you'll be waking up to a guy with a Somalian accent telling you that you owe the IRS $10,000, but you can only pay them via Best Buy cards. Golly, Barry, you wouldn't do that to us, would you? I am not Somalian, Joe. Guys, listen, you just use the money you earned from the toss-up and say, I'd like to buy a vowel. What's the catch? There is no catch. Is there a discount if we buy in bulk? What? No, and you can't even do that. Okay, Mr. Mandel, I think I understand the concept now. And I'd like to buy a vowel. I'm not. Never mind. Go ahead, Mr. President. Is there an S up there? An S? Mr. President, S is not a vowel. Now you see what I went through, Pat. I know, but I changed my mind. I want to guess S now. Jesus. Fine. No S on the board. Nice going, Joey. Now we're out 250 bucks because you bought a vowel we didn't even use. All right, go ahead and spin the wheel, Barry. Looks like it's landing on $300. Ah, sucker. Shut up, Donnie. The panel it landed on wasn't even the most embarrassing part. Did you see how short it spun compared to when Joey swung it? Someone take this guy to the gym! Will you two clowns pipe down? Let's see how talkative you are when I solve this puzzle. Give me an H, Pat. Yep, two H's putting you at $600. All right, uh, time to spin again. Careful, Barack, don't land on the bankrupt panel. Can you calm down? I know how this damn game works. Wow, $900, good spin, Mr. President. Hey, uh, how about you guys guess Z? This looks like the perfect phrase with the letter Z in there. Yeah, I agree with Steve. Possibly like seven or eight of them. Yeah, we're not guessing Z. How stupid do you take us for? How about a B, Pat? One B. We'd like to buy a vowel. Is there an I? Yes, there are four I's. Hey, save some cash for the rest of us, you greedy bastards. Now, Kim, that's not so nice. What I think my partner means is, would you mind throwing the round, Georgie? Jesus, you gonna buy the whole alphabet? Solve the damn puzzle. Donnie, be quiet over there. Is there a G? Uh, in this original phrase, no. But if you slide me over half your winnings in this round, then I can change the phrase to where it could have six Gs. See, Steve? I told you they changed the last phrase. All right, well, in any case, I want to buy a vowel. Let's see if there are any O's. Yeah, some O's up there. I want to solve. If the wheel ain't broke, don't fix it. That is correct, Donald. Congratulations. Good shit, Donald. Well, wait, hold on now. The saying is, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Where did wheel come from? Well, we put wheel in there because it's wheel of fortune. If that wheel is broken, the game's over. He does have a point, Barry. This is some bullshit. All right, so we have the team of Donald and Steve taking the lead with $7,650. Following them is Joe and Kim at $1,750. And in last place is George and Barack with $0. Hey, Barack, looking a little low on cash over there? Need me to throw you some pity bucks? Great, this is all we need. We fumbled around, now Donald's never gonna let us live it down. Seems like you guys are always on the losing team in these game shows. Yeah, we'll see who'll be laughing at the end of this. You cannot hope to match my superhuman intelligence, Barack. I am practically a step away from psionic powers, like Modoc. You're on the path to looking like him, that's for sure. All right, boys, round two, we're gonna spice things up a little. Goodness, I can't handle spicy food. Are we allowed to skip this round? No can do, Pat. I'm on some meds right now, and they do not sit well with peppery meals. 
I have Tom's if you guys end up needing it. Ooh, that's some quick thinking, Georgie. Look, gentlemen, there will be no spicy food. I just meant that we're changing things up a bit. There's going to be two mystery wedges on the board. If you land... Uh, what the fuck is on these wedges? Well, I was about to explain, Donald. If you land on them, you can either take it as $1,000 per letter face value or flip it for $10,000 or a possible bankruptcy. You should be familiar with that one, Donald. Sorry, but who's the one with zero dollars right now? Next category is horror movies. Good luck. You'll want to avoid the lose a turn wedge, Donald. Oh, really? I was hoping to aim for that wedge specifically. All right, let's see if there are any T's. Yes, two T's. Motherfuck! Great going, Donald. That's what you get for all that heckling, Donald. It's not my fault this gizmo is faulty. I guarantee you this contraption is rigged to land on bankruptcy if you're on a winning streak. Gizmo? Jesus, this guy's a fossil. Shut up, George. This bickering is making me excited, boys. All right, Kim and Joe, let's see if you guys can figure it out. Is there a B? Yep, one B. I'd like to buy a vowel through Cash App, Pat. Uh, again, you don't buy it through any cash or credit app. You just spend your money you earned throughout the game. Joey, you better fucking use the vowel this time. I will, Kim. Don't you worry, your shiny cranium. I want to buy an A. Indeed, there are two A's. I'd like to solve, is it the last airbender? You got it. Congratulations, gentlemen. Hell yeah, Joey. Nice one. Now hold on. How is that a horror movie? Did you actually see the movie, Mr. President? No, but I know it's based on a kid's show. It was a nightmare. Watch it, Barack, and you'll fully understand why it's considered a horror flick. A true disgrace it was, indeed. No gunshots or knife wounds yet, kind of disappointed gentlemen. But let's get moving on to the triple toss-up going for $2,000 per puzzle. Denny's waiters get tipped more. Donnie, what kind of Denny's are you going to? First category is honest and truthful video game companies. Good luck. Oh, come on, Pat. This has to be a prank, right? I refuse to say this answer for $2,000. Are you saying you would have said it for $2 million, Donnie? I mean, yeah. Listen, my moral compass can be easily bought out for $2 million, not $2,000. Yeah, I think I'm going to avoid the scrutiny by pleading the fifth on this one. In what fucking world is that company honest and truthful? Okay, you guys got me. They're one of the leading sponsors in today's episode, and the catch was that we had to include them in a toss-up with that prompt. Since we're on the topic, before we get moving into our next toss-up, a word from our sponsor. That's right, Pat. Enjoy a beautiful luxury escape to paradise on Earth. Nowhere other than a fully paid trip to Blizzard Entertainment Studios in Irvine, California. Blizzard Headquarters or what we like to call a little slice of heaven, where honesty and conscientious management work tirelessly to provide brilliant, definitely not quarter-finished products that all gaming consumers find satisfying. Blizzard Entertainment, a lone virtuous candle standing bright amidst a dishonest gaming industry. This marvelous trip also includes a complimentary ride in Bobby Kotick's yacht, where both lavish living and perfection come together to realization. Blizzard Entertainment, where generosity is held as a paramount virtue, and where our games are considered the leading standards of today's industry. This trip is valued at $160,000. And remember, if you're thinking you would rather have a trip elsewhere, you think you do, but you don't. Who the hell made that valuation? Kim, did you, you have your generals make the propaganda for that sponsorship? Don't look at me, even I wouldn't defend Blizzard. Are we allowed to sell the ticket or convert it into cash instead? At least our prizes on Family Feud were actually worth something. Yeah, right, Steve. Passing off a 2015 car model as modern? Better than going to Blizzard HQ. I'd rather take a trip to Afghanistan. Ooh, I hear the sand people there can be quite friendly. Sand people? What are you talking about? Like from Star Wars? No, from Afghanistan. Pat, you need to get them under control. We're on air. No, no. This is exactly why I signed on. Like Ronald McDonald says, I'm loving it. All right, gentlemen, next toss-up is on the board, and the category is places. Good luck. This one better make sense this time, Pat. I assure you there will be no sponsor interference with this toss-up. Yes, Barack and George, go ahead. Is it the whorehouse? Uh, no, that is incorrect and slightly inappropriate. Now, Barry, why would your mind immediately go there? Sounds to me like no one's getting any action back home. Whoa, hey, now if anything, that's inappropriate. Pat, I'd like to solve. It's the White House. That is correct, Stephen Donald. Well done. How the hell do the four presidents on this panel not know that? Steve, we've been confined in that hellhole long enough. The last thing we want to do is think about it when we're out here. George is right on that account. It's like being in a fancy, non-official house arrest for eight years. Gentlemen, we have our final toss-up on the board. Category is Natural Wonders of the World. Pat, these guys couldn't figure out a simple toss-up like the White House. 
What makes you think that they can solve this incredibly long toss-up? Oh, come now, Stevia. Yeah. Many people underestimate the Bidenator, and do you know where they are now? Uh, no. Where are they, Joe? Golly, well, I don't know. That's why I was asking Steve. Yeah, none of us are going to figure this out. Ooh, ye of little faith, Stevia. Yeah. I happen to know the toss-up. Go ahead, Mr. President. Is it uh, Kim Kardashian's bootylicious arm? Uh, no, that is incorrect. Kim Kardashian's bootylicious ass. That is indeed correct. Congratulations on winning the toss-up, awarding you with $2,000. Finally, Barack, some cash under your name? Yeah, yeah, we get it, Donald. Her arm. Joey, what are you thinking? Now, I'll have you know, Kim, it isn't so uncommon for some people to entertain an arm fetish. According to new research, the sensory portion of your brain recognizes your arm and your genitals as right next to each other, despite them being on opposite ends of your body. This is why many people have arm fetishes. Who is this supposed many people that you're referring to, Joe? While we're on this topic, by the way, Kardashian's ass is definitely fake. Natural wonder of the world, my ass. It is still a wonder, though. You said it, Donald. I'd be in there like the tongue of an anteater in an ant mound. You know what I'm saying, Barack? Uh, I'm happily married. Oh, yes, of course. We are on air, after all. We'll revisit this topic backstage later. All righty, everybody, and that's it for the toss-ups. We're moving into the final round now with Steve and Donald maintaining the lead. With $9,650, following them is Joe and Kim at $3,900, and in last place is George and Barack at $2,000. Any words you two would like to impart, uh, Steve and Donald? My radiant brilliance is simply inconceivable to mere mortals. Are you serious, Donald? You couldn't even figure out White House. An outlier, nothing more. Gentlemen, next round is the speed up round. A flat $1,000 is added to whatever price the wheel lands on for all consonants and vowels are free. Dag nabbit, and just as I installed Venmo on my iPhone. Does that mean we do not need our checkbooks for this round? Uh, no. Like previously stated, you never needed actual cash or credit to purchase these vowels. Oh, um, uh, well, I already cash apped you $500. Could you send that back? No, I don't think I'll be doing that. But I... All right, Barack, go ahead and give that wheel a spin. The next category is, what are you doing? Hey, Barack, try not to land on that prize trip panel to Blizzard HQ. Yeah, baby, $900, that's what we're talking about. All right, let's see an F. No, Mr. President, there are no Fs. Seriously, Barack? Fumbling on the first letter? What a joke. Everyone knows you pick a vowel as your first guess on this round. Fuck you, Donald. When you mess this up and it comes back under our control, George and I will win this round. All of this tension. Uh, this makes the Pat very happy. Would you like to see exactly how happy, Barack? Uh, no, I think I'm quite all right. All right, Donald, go ahead and give it a whirl. Jesus Christ, another bankrupt? Lord Almighty, I'm never letting you spin this damned wheel again, Donald. Joey, you better not make the same mistake as Donald. Okie dokie, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take my best friend Donnie's advice and buy a vowel. Oh, thanks, Joe. Hey, good luck to you, buddy. Oh, shucks, Donnie. If we win this round, I'll take you to Denny's after. I wouldn't have it any other way, buddy. Jesus. Hey, how about you two get a room? Jealous, Barack? No, not really. No, I know which way Barry the Bachelor rolls. I saw his eyes light up at my tongue in Kim Kardashian's fart box comment. My eyes absolutely did not light up, and I'm not a bachelor. Michelle, Honey, I know you're watching and I love you. Right, right. Got to save face in front of the missus. I get that. Okay, back to you, Joe. You said you'd like to guess a vowel? Hmm, I actually changed my mind. I'd like to guess an N. Yep, there's one N. Next, I'd like to guess an I. Uh, right. There are five I's on the board. Excellent. Now I would like to order a G, my good man. Uh, what is Joe doing? Is this motherfucker doing what I think he's doing? Um, all right, there's the G. Okay, I would like another G, Pat. Uh, no, you, uh... Can't do that, and I'm not entirely sure what you were going for there, but Barack, let's have you spin the wheel now. Told you it would come full circle, Donnie. Doesn't matter. Your guesses are so bad, you might as well be saying numbers. All right, let's see an O. Yes, there are indeed some O's up there. Is there a B? A few B's. Still can't figure it out, Barack? No, Donnie, I don't know what it is. It's four damned rows long. Also, it's smarter to just spin the wheel and farm some cash. Yeah, unless if you land on a... God, Donald, you distracted me. Ha! Looks like all that cash you just farmed is now ripe for the taking. Stand back, Steve. I got this. Let's see a J. No, Donald, there are no J's up there. Donald, you cannot be serious. Really, Donnie? You messed that up, but you're still gonna rag on us? You can't guess one letter in a phrase with four rows, Donnie? I threw the round on purpose, so you guys could have the chance of catching up to me and Steve. They don't call me Generous Donnie for nothing. Name one person who calls you that. You know, I, I think I know what it is. How could you possibly know what it is? 
There's still so many letters to fill in. Gentlemen, if you're having some performance issues, slide me 50% of the earnings and I'll gladly tell you the answer. Joey, how do you know what it is? Well, let's backtrack, Kim. Pat mentioned Kim Kardashian multiple times to Barry, right? He said he wanted to visit the topic again backstage later. Hey, are you two finished whisper? We're busy deliberating, Donald. Be quiet. Apologies, Joey. Please continue. Look at the first word. It looks an awful lot like Barry. And look at the fifth word. It looks like number. If we combine that with the previous context we have of Pat trying to hook up Barry with Kim, we can deduce that the fourth word is Kim's. Then the third word is probably have. So the first four words are Barry, I have Kim's number. The following words are most likely, I'll give it to you, but I'm not sure what the last word could be. Perhaps after or later. Our safe bet would be to guess the letter A, since we know the second letter has to contain it, and depending on its position in the last row, we can guess after or later. Jesus Christ, Joey, when did you become so, oh my God. Mm, uh, what is it? Your eyes are bloodshot red. Are you high? Why, yes, I did happen to take a few hits while Georgie, Barry, Steve, and Donnie were going a few rounds at each other. Shit! Well, don't let them see your eyes. Just look down or something. We don't want Barry the narc to rat us out. Gentlemen, clock's ticking and Pat's excitometer is sizzling down from a passionate fire to a mere ember. Know what I'm saying, Barack? No, I don't. Stop putting me in these weird situations. Time's up, boys. You have to guess a letter. Okay, we'll guess the letter A. All right, there it is. The last letter has to be later. Quick, before any of them see your eyes. Wait, hold on. Joe, look over here real quick. Oh, shit. They're on to us. Quickly, Joey. Use some eye drops or something. Hey, that's no fair. He's higher than George was back in that cave. Boys, I understand that SpongeBob seaweed isn't for everybody, but what's the big deal? If he wants to have a good time, then I say all the power to him. No, you don't understand, Pat. When Joe gets high, it unscrambles his brain and unlocks a plethora of psionic phenomena that puts him at the intelligence level of a supercomputer on steroids. You could have skipped all of those fancy words and just said that it puts him at my intelligence level, George. Yeah, okay, Donnie. Oh, in that case, I'm afraid you will be ineligible to guess in this round, Mr. President. As for the word puzzle, the phrase was, uh, Barry, I have Kim's number. I'll give it to you later. Wait, what? With that having said, Donald and Steve are the winners, taking home with them $9,650. Normally, we would continue with another round, but I have some business to wrap up with Barack. Honey, listen, I honestly have no idea what this crazy bastard is talking about. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say, Barack. We wish you all a wonderful night here at Wheel of Fortune, and thank you for tuning in. Now, hold on. Oh, I think we delayed her for long enough, Barack, don't you think? It's not nice to keep a lady waiting. Honey, do you see this? He's pushing me. I have no wish to cheat on you. Yeah, right. Wait till you see the curves on this one. Then we'll see if you'll still be saying that.